uh, race exactly how I wanted to, put me in the best lanes where I could just go find the spot and kind of just cruise it in and get what I need to do and decided to pass on the last straight. Didn't really need to, but you never know who's behind you. So I'm feeling strong and confident and I'm excited about it. Nice, nice. And knowing that, you know, you won a medal at the last championships, what's like the motivation, the mindset as you go into this one? I think just build the excitement for Paris. I mean, I know we got to upgrade the bronze, uh, hopefully get silver or gold. Hopefully gold, but I mean, I think it's just building excitement. We're not really doing much this time of year, and it's been special so far, and you can't pass up on opportunities like this, and so I'm excited for it. So you kind of just been training through that, uh, training through this season in a sense? Yeah, I mean, coach definitely hasn't let up on me, so it's been a little tough just with the training and racing, but I think it's just preparing us for what's important later, and been training at altitude with new guys, and it's just been exciting to me and Hobbs kind of push each other along, and hopefully he'll do it well here as well. How different tactically is indoors? How do you approach it differently? Oh man, it's, it's tough. Uh, you never know when you're going to be able to pass. I think it makes it so much harder because usually you do it on the straights outdoors and the straights in here go by in a flash in seconds. And so it's, it's tough to tough to like plan that out tactically, uh, but usually it ends for like a little photo finish and pass at the end. So it's, it's a fun time. <laughs> How important is it then to get in one of those front positions when you guys break? Oh, I think it's so important. My coach is like, I've done it in the past where I've gone out too relaxed and kind of hung towards the back and it just makes it so much harder. So being able to be in the outside lane and just go right to position two and get dragged on by the first guy is so helpful. Uh, I think it's definitely the easiest way to race and uh, hopefully we'll be able to do that. None of these guys watch the videos, but I think it'll go well. <laughs> do you have to work really, like how hard do you have to work to get that position? Uh, I, you gotta get out kind of quick, uh, but with it being indoors too, you get kind of like a downhill on, the, on that first turn. And so that helps a lot. Uh, I was surprised no more guys aren't fighting for that position because it's. I think it makes it easy. You can just turn off your brain and follow the guy, and it works out really well. Compared to two years ago, do you feel like you're in better shape than you were in Belgrade? I, I, absolutely. I feel like there's still yet to be like 800 that's challenged me. I think one of the only like hard races this year so far was going into Marco because he's an incredible talent. Dragged me along in the K and. That was kind of a wake-up call in the first race of the season, but all these 800s been feeling really comfortable, and I'm excited to see what I can do. Yeah, no one's broken 145 this year. Does it feel like this event's kind of wide open? Absolutely. I, I feel like I definitely have the capability right now, um, but it, again, just like the races haven't come together for that. And so I'm hoping it goes fast and we can get some of those fast times and put up some more leads. Yeah. Thanks.